you want me to touch that? Charlotte asked. There could be bugs in there. Hi there, welcome to the Disney Princess Club. I'm Elena. Hi, I'm Eliana. And I'm Ella. We're going to be reading to Yana's growing experiment from the Five Minute Princess Stories book. Let's get started. Shaboosh, yeah! All right, here we go. Tiana's growing experiment. Tiana sighed and hung up the phone. I've called every pepper farmer in the state of Louisiana, and none of them have what I'm looking for, she told Naveen. Tiana took a magazine off the counter and showed it to him. I read about ghost peppers in this article. I wanted to try them in my jambalaya. The problem is, they're from India. No one grows them here. As Naveen went upstairs, Tiana slowly flipped through the pages of the magazine. Suddenly, something caught her eye. There, at the bottom of the credits page, was an address for one of the Indian farms the magazine writer had visited for the article. Tiana decided to write them a letter and ask if they would be willing to sell her some seeds for the peppers. That's a good idea. Yeah, it is. A few weeks later, Tiana was cooking up a batch of gumbo when Naveen came into the restaurant and handed her an envelope. As she opened it, a small packet fell to the floor. Tiana set it aside and began to read the letter aloud. Dear Princess Tiana, we have heard tales of your famous food and are honored that you would like to use the ghost pepper in your cuisine. Enclosed, please find the seeds you will need to grow them. Ooh, that's cool. Tiana couldn't wait to get started. There was just one problem. She knew how to cook a pepper, but she'd never grown anything before. She decided to make a stop at the library to check out a few books all about gardening. By the end of the evening, she felt ready to start her garden. The next morning, she went to the market to buy supplies. She found pots, gloves, a trowel, and a watering can. Then she ordered dirt and fertilizer to be delivered to the restaurant. Whoa, that's a lot of things. Back at the restaurant, Tiana went up to the roof deck. She was going to turn the space into her garden. Once everything she needed had been delivered, Tiana got started. Each morning before the restaurant opened, Tiana checked on her peppers. I hope I planted them correctly, she told Naveen one night. What if they don't grow? They will, Naveen said. Just be patient. Finally, one morning, she saw a spot of green. Tiana was so excited to see her peppers start to grow that she decided to try her hand at growing other things too. So cool. Yeah. A few days later, Tiana was planting her new vegetables when she heard a familiar voice. Tia, are you up here? Tiana looked up just as Charlotte opened the door to the roof. What on earth are you doing? You're completely covered in dirt. It's filthy up here. Tiana smiled at her friend. Welcome to my garden, Lottie. Want to help? You want me to touch that? Charlotte asked. There could be bugs in there. <laughs> Aw, come on, Charlotte. It's just a little dirt, Naveen said with a wink. And Tiana's having fun. In fact, she's having so much fun, I'm thinking of trying it. Charlotte looked down at Naveen. You're going to get your hands all dirty? I'm getting out of here before any of that filth gets on my new dress. Naveen followed Charlotte back down the steps, but a few minutes later, he returned with a cucumber. Okay, what do I do? Well, first you have to get the seeds out of it, Tiana said. In the kitchen, she explained that the seeds would have to be washed and then dried for a few days. A few days, Naveen cried but I wanted to work in the garden with you today. What was it you told me? Be patient, she said smiling. Just then, Lewis came into the garden looking for a snack. Did I hear someone say, garden? He asked, can I try? Tiana smiled at the friendly alligator. Of course you can, she said. A few days later, Tiana tended to her existing plants while Naveen and Lewis got busy planting their crops. But Naveen wasn't finding gardening so easy. Fortunately, with Tiana's help, Naveen fixed his pots. Then, day after day, the trio trooped up to the roof to check on their plants. Hey, look at that, Naveen shouted. Look at what, Charlotte asked. 
She had come up to the roof to find her friends. My cucumbers, Naveen said. I did it. All that dirt really doesn't bother you? She asked. Naveen shrugged. Honestly, it's kind of fun. It's messy, but look what I have to show for it. Charlotte wandered around the roof, looking at everyone's plants. Wow, Tia, she said, those peppers are really getting big. And Louis, those radishes do look tasty. You all seem to be having so much fun. Maybe getting a little dirty isn't so bad, she paused to consider. Okay, I'm in, she announced a moment later. But I want to grow something pretty, like flowers. Tiana walked over to her friend. Come on, Lottie, we'll go to the market and find you the perfect flowers to grow. The next morning, Charlotte put on an old dress and covered it with the biggest apron she could find. Tiana laughed when she saw her friend. I think you may be a little overdressed, Lottie, she said. Charlotte shook her head. I said I'd touch the dirt. I didn't say I was going to let the dirt touch me. Now come on, show me what to do. Over the next few weeks, everyone spent as much time as they could working on their plants. Even Charlotte got excited when she saw her flowers start to bloom. Look at that, she said. They're so pretty. Naveen surveyed the roof. There were pots everywhere. What are we going to do with all these vegetables, he asked. Tiana smiled. Leave it to me, she said. Meet me back here at five o'clock on Monday night. Wow, pretty. Yeah, I love the flowers. That Monday, the friends gathered on the roof. Charlotte gasped as she looked around. Tia, she said, you turned all your vegetables into dinner. Tiana smiled. I realized we had grown the perfect ingredients for a summer salad. And for anyone daring enough to try it, the first batch of my new jambalaya recipe. Guaranteed to set your mouth on fire. <gasps> the end. So, what was your favorite part of the story? I think my favorite part of the story is when Tiana got to actually see her plants grow because it's really fun planting plants. What was your favorite part? I like how she worked really hard to plant the stuff for the jambalaya. Yeah, I think hard work is very important. And I think Tiana is extremely hardworking. Yeah. Yeah, she's a hardworking woman. What do you guys think about what changed Charlotte's mind about gardening? I think Charlotte saw how much fun they were having and she really wanted to join in the fun. I also think that Charlotte loves flowers, so I'm sure she wanted to grow them. Yeah, and if you don't try, then you won't know. So it was a good thing that Charlotte really stepped in and her flowers ended up being really beautiful. Yeah, I think it's worth it to be patient because the outcome is always worth waiting for. When was the time when you had to be patient? I've had to be patient a lot of times. When I have a play date with a friend or a sleepover and they're not at my house yet, I keep asking my mom, are they here? Are they here? Are they here? And I have to keep waiting and waiting and waiting. And it's difficult, but uh, once the waiting is over, it's really fun. Yeah. What kind of things would you grow if you're growing a garden? I think I really like to grow tomatoes, maybe even squash. Oh, what about you? Um, maybe like strawberries, because I really like strawberries. I love strawberries. Maybe like a vegetable like carrot. Oh, that sounds amazing. I think the lesson of this story is it's fun to try new things. Like Tiana didn't exactly know what she was doing at first, but she did research and she tried her best and there was an amazing outcome. I think trying new things is always an awesome thing and then you can involve your friends too. Yeah, I like that. I hope you had fun listening to Tiana's growing experiment today. Maybe you're even feeling inspired to grow your own vegetables. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And the beautiful princess was so moved by his desperate plea that she stooped down, picked up the slippery creature, leaned forward, raised him to her lips, and kissed that little frog. Aww. <laughs> 
easy. Princess, princess, do not panic. What did you do to me? I'm green and I'm, and I'm slimy. No, 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 no. That is not slime. What? You are secreting mucus. Mmm, gumbo smells good, Tiana. I think it's going, Daddy. Yeah, are you sure? Mm-hmm. Absolutely positive. Yes. Done. Hmm. What? Well, sweetheart, this is the best combo <laughs> I've ever tasted. <laughs> Come here. You do our little girl got a gift. Mm -hmm. I could have told you that. <laughs> a gift this special just got to be shared. Hey, everybody. I'm a gumbo. Ooh, that smells good. I got some hush puppies, Tiana. Here they come. You know the thing about good food? It brings folks together from all walks of life. It warms them right up, and it puts little smiles on their faces. Daddy, look. Where are you going? Charlotte's fairy tale book said, if you make a wish on the evening star, it's sure to come true. <laughs> well, you wish on that star, sweetheart. Yes, you wish and you dream with all your little heart. But you remember, Tiana, that that old star can only take you part of the way. You gotta help along with some hard work of your own, and, and then, yeah, you can do anything you set your mind to. Just promise your daddy one thing, that you'll never, ever lose sight of what's really important, okay? Here's a little something to help you get started. <gasps> Daddy's gumbo pot. I know. I miss him, too. <laughs> well, now, hurry up and open the door. <laughs> just look at it, Mama. Doesn't it just make you want to cry? Yes. The maid of is going to be right where you're standing. Oh, and over here, a gourmet kitchen. And, and hanging from the ceiling, a big old crystal chandelier. <laughs> you your daddy's daughter, all right. He used to go on and on about this old sugar mill, too. Baby Cakes, I'm sure this place is going to be just wonderful. But it's a shame you're working so hard. But how can I let up now when I'm so close? I got to make sure all Daddy's hard work means something. Tiana, your Daddy may not have gotten the place he always wanted, but he had something better. He had love. Very funny. So what now? I reckon you want a kiss? Kissing would be nice, yes? <laughs> what? Y'all find anything to eat yet out? Oh, my. Um, Hang on. Old Lewis got it covered. No, no. no, no. Yeah. How's that? This could be a little better. You know what this needs? A sharp stick. Step aside, mister. Watch and learn. There you go. You know, I, I, I've, I've never done anything like this before. Really? <laughs> All right. Well, when you live in a castle, everything is done for you. All the time. They, they dress you, they feed you, drive you, brush your teeth. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> I admit it was a charmed life until the day my parents cut me off and suddenly I, I realized I don't know how to do anything. Well, hey, you got the makings of a decent mushroom mincer. Oh, you think so? Y your restaurant? Oh, can't you just picture it? All lit up like the 4th of July. <laughs> yes, jazz pouring out of every window. It should be elegant. But you gotta keep it loose, don't <laughs> gotta let it swing. You know a good ukulele player? Really? 
You let me perform. I'll talk to the owner. Owner says yes. <laughs> she does it. <laughs> Folks are gonna be coming together from all walks of life just to get a taste of our food. And all you got to do to make this a reality is hand over that little old talisman of mine. No. This... this is not right. Come on now, darling. Think of everything you've sacrificed. Girl, all you ever do is work. I told y'all she wouldn't come. Think of all those naysayers who doubted you. You ain't never gonna get enough for the damn baby. Little woman of your background, you're better off where you're at. And don't forget your poor daddy. Now, that was one hard-working man. Double, sometimes triple shifts. Never letting on how bone tired and beat down he really was. Daddy! Hey, baby Kate. Shame all that hard work didn't amount to much more than a busted up old gumbo pot and a dream that never got off the back porch. But you, you can give your poor daddy everything he ever wanted. Come on, Tiana. Almost there. My daddy never did get what he wanted. <laughs> but he had what he needed. He had love. He never lost sight of what was really important. Easy with that. Careful. And neither will I. <laughs> Pronounce your frog and wife. Get to it, hop along. Give your lovely bride some sugar. Congratulations. contains clips from Disney's The Princess and the Frog, now available on Blu-ray and DVD. Ah, uh, Senator Johnson. Hey, Jimmy. I hope you're leaving some of them beignets for your constituents. Here you go, piping hot. St Stella, excuse me, Stella, no, no. <laughs> okay, for just one. But, Miss Charlotte, uh, you said later two hours ago. Travis, when a woman says later, she really means not ever. Now run along. There are plenty of young fillies dying for you to waltz them into a stupor. Give me that napkin, quick! What on earth for? I swear I'm sweating like a sinner in church. Oh, dear, it's getting to be so late. There's still a few stragglers. It's just no fair. My prince is never coming. Now, lie. I'll never get anything I wish for. A lot of ways. <laughs> just calm down. Take a deep Maybe I just gotta wish harder. Huh? Please, 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 Lottie, please, please. You can't please, just please, wish please, on a star please, and expect please, things. Please, and His Royal Highness, Prince Navi. Evening, Tiana. Marvelous oh. party. Evening, Mr. Fenner. And, and Mr. Mr. Fenner. Fine smelling beignets. 
gonna be the house specialty once I sign those papers y'all brought. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. About that, um... You out, bid. What? A, a, a fella came in, offered the full amount in cash. Unless you can top his offer by Wednesday. You can kiss that place goodbye. You, you, you know how long it took me to save that money? Exactly. Which is why a little woman of your background would have had her hands full trying to run a big business like that. You know, you're better off where you at. Now, wait a minute. Love those beignets, though. Now, now hold on there. You come, come back. Ah! <laughs> Tia, time to hit Prince Charming with those man catching beignets. What happened? I, I, I just. Oh, you poor dear. Oh, Prince Devane. We'll be right back, sugar. I got just the dress for you. Oh, Tia, honey, did you see the way he danced with me? A marriage proposal can't be far behind. Thank you, Evening Star. <laughs> you know, I was starting to think that wishing on stars was just for babies and crazy people. Look at you. Oh, aren't you just as pretty as a magnolia in May? Seems like only yesterday we were... Both little girls dreaming our fairy tale dreams. And tonight they're finally coming true. Well, back into the fray. <laughs> Wish me luck. Welcome to the Disney Princess Channel. I'm Dan, the pancake artist, and today I'm gonna teach you how I make my super cool one of a kind Disney Princess pancakes. Today, we're making my personal favorite princess chef, Princess Tiana. It's gonna be good! <laughs> Let's get started. We're gonna be drawing this with pancake batter, which we've got contained in these small plastic squeeze bottles, each with a different color of gel food coloring added. Please note that the griddle is not on during this drawing process. We will plug it in at the end. Sometimes when I make a mistake, I end up learning a lot from it and becoming a better artist because I made the mistake. One of my favorite things about Tiana is that she's a cook. to see how this backlighting turns out. You know, Tiana was inspired to cook because of her family. My family inspired me to get into art. shading here. We're going to color in her whole face. Get her veil in there a little bit. Well, let's fill this in, shall we? We're gonna trace the outline. And lastly, Zigzag a little bit over the top. 
what's the last of my pancake batter? Whew. Don't worry, I've got some spare. There we go. Now, it's time to cook. I'm now going to plug in and turn on my griddle. This is gonna get hot though, so make sure that you have adult supervision. It's almost done cooking now. Ready for the flip? Here we go. Three, two, one. Princess Tiana. Thanks so much for watching this very special episode on the Disney Princess Channel with me, Dan the Pancake Man. We wish you all the best, and we'll see you here next time for more Disney Princess fun. Bippity boppity, bye! Today was a great day. We made delicious snacks. We figured out what we needed to work on to make our dreams come true. And there was something else. We, we met Tiana! Celebrate with a big flambe. <laughs>
you have to have all the right ingredients and hard work to make a good meal. And those are the same things you need to make a dream come true. Do y'all want to hear my dream recipe? Yes, please! Well, you start off with preparation and determination. You picture the dream you're making, learn what it's going to take to get there, and then you believe in your heart you can do it. Add a teaspoon of technique, because you have to chop and mince those problems and saute every success. Add a dash of good humor. We love to laugh in my kitchen. <laughs> Add a cup of confidence and the courage to keep going. Mix in a whole lot of love, because you have to treat yourself kindly when you stumble and show grace and gratitude to those who lift you back up. And when you've made it, celebrate with a big flambe. <laughs> and share that dream with everyone who helped you along the way. That's more ingredients than I thought there would be. Now mind you, everyone's dream will be a bit different because we all have our own dreams, our own journeys to get where we're going. Wow, so being determined is just one step in the right direction. There's way more work that has to be done. That's right. Now, tell me a dream that you're gonna make come true. I want to be a photographer. I love taking pictures of people and places. And I want to be a soccer player. I love playing and I want to be on the team at school. There you go. Now, what ingredients might you need? Any ideas? Well, my main ingredient is practice. I have to do a lot of it, but I'm ready. I can tell. And yours? Observation. I want to see the world in a different way than I have before. That's perfect. Now, do you know what you might like to do first? That's all right. We don't always know where to start. But I bet there's someone that you look up to who's living out her dreams. Now, how will it feel when you've made it and you have a little girl looking up to you too? <gasps> and you know, that picture my daddy gave me, it lived in my mind until I made it real. I'll just bet you'll inspire someone else's dream by following yours. Thanks so much for helping us start planning out our dreams now. I'm so glad we're not too young to start. And I like the idea of thinking of your dreams as a recipe. Such a cool way to understand the things we need to do and why we need to do them. And if we do it this way, it's so much fun. <laughs> it sure can be. Now, one more thing, ladies, and it's important. As you're working for those dreams, make sure you never lose sight of what really matters. That's love. You know what you want, and you know you can get there. But remember who's with you along the way. And always let your light shine. We won't forget that. <laughs> Definitely not. One final question. You are such a great cook. People travel from all over the world to taste your food. But I'm curious, what's your favorite meal to cook? Hmm. <laughs> That's easy, my daddy's gumbo. <gasps> that sounds really good. It does. Thank you for inviting us. I had such a great time. Me too, and we learned so much. Well, thank you both for coming. I've really enjoyed our visit. Now, y'all keep after those dreams now, you hear? We will. Next time, I'll stay for dinner. I'm thinking gumbo. I think I might know a good recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, you. I'm so happy we got to meet Tiana. Me too. But all this talk about determination has made me kind of hungry. Me too. I am determined to make a snack. I'm thinking... Tiana Toast? You mean we're going to figure out the ingredients we need to make our dreams come true? Indeed. <laughs> I love that Tiana thinks of dreams as recipes. It's such a great idea. Each ingredient symbolizes what we'll need to do to reach our goal. So to be a photographer, the first ingredient for my Tiana toast is knowledge. That's my toast. Then I need to be dedicated. That's some yogurt. Then I need to dedicate a lot of time to learning about photography. The time is bananas. It's about time. No, it's literally about putting in the time. Then strawberries for Kindness. I love how kind Tiana was to us. I can be kind by using my photography to give back to the community, or maybe even tutoring someone when I reach my goal. And last but not least, cooking a place for creativity. 
To be a great photographer, you have to be creative with how you take your pictures. Your Tiana toast is very inspiring, Malia. Thank you. There isn't anything stopping me from being a photographer. Right now, I'm using my mom's camera phone, but soon I'll have an actual camera of my own. I even study photographs I see in magazines and museums. If I stick with it, I'm just going to get better. Absolutely. With knowledge, dedication, time, kindness, and creativity, my dreams of being a photographer will come true. In a way, it already has. Yeah, me. So, what kind of Tiana toast are you making, Elena? Well, my main ingredient for my recipe for success is research. I love to watch my favorite soccer players on TV so that I can learn from the best in the world. This toast represents my research. And my next ingredient is teamwork, because you can't be on a team by yourself. That's yogurt. And then I have raspberries for hard work. I'm going to put my raspberries in my yogurt. Mmm, <laughs> it looks so good. I wonder if it's gonna turn pink. I hope so, pink's my favorite color. Ooh, it's so pretty. Yeah. And next, training. I have to put in some real time to really understand the sport. That's cacao nibs. Ooh. <laughs> Actually, I need some more of these because I wanna do the best that I can. <laughs> then, Apples for courage, because it's not going to be easy, so I need to be very courageous and resilient. And lastly, blueberries for fun. Fun? Yeah, I think an important part of following your dreams is always having fun. Even if your dream seems difficult, you should have fun with it and be happy. That's so true. I'm very happy when I take photos. See, with research, teamwork, hard work, training, courage, and fun, I'm one step closer to my dream of becoming a soccer player to come true. What do you know, Elena? We're almost there. Hold on, Gamma yeah, gets sad. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Today was a great day. We made delicious snacks. We figured out what we needed to work on to make our dreams come true. And there was something else. We, we met, met Tiana. Tiana! Tiana went through a fascinating journey. From her adventure on the bayou to her adventure on land. She still managed to open up a restaurant. If that's not courage and determination, then I don't know what is. Do you know what ingredients you need to make your dreams come true? If not, that's okay. Take a minute to think about it. And then, make a snack. Well, that's all the time we have today. Thank you so much for watching this special episode of the Disney Courage and Kindness Club. How do you, Princess? I'm Malia. And I'm Elena. Bye! Abracadabra, cookie and beignet. Show me a spooky story on full display. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. Welcome to the Disney Princess Club. I'm Lavinia and I'll be your ghost, I mean host, for this evening. Tonight, I'll be reading a spooky story from Five Minute Halloween Stories book. Our tale for this evening will be the Princess and the Frog, Tiana's Ghost. And our friends will be acting all of the spooky moments as I read it. But, but where are my friends? Disney's The Princess and the Frog, Tiana's Ghost. Halloween night in New Orleans began with the rusty orange sunset. That sun looks just like a big old pumpkin, Tiana said, standing in the doorway of her restaurant. It's perfect for Halloween, her friend Charlotte said, flouncing up in a little Bo Peep costume. And look, those little fluffy clouds look just like your beignets. Tiana scowled. Why the frown trigger? Don't you love Halloween? I do. It's just there's been some weird stuff going on today. You reminded me about it when you mentioned beignets. Real beignet stuff. <laughs> Charlotte asked, laughing. <laughs> Only you would have a pastry mystery on Halloween, Tiana. Tiana shook her head. It's probably nothing. I made a special batch of them for my Halloween party tonight, and they've all gone missing. Charlotte smiled. You know, they say this feels what? 
the oath on Halloween. Maybe they're the ones causing this mischief. She teased. Tiana laughed. <laughs> but she wondered if maybe Charlotte was right. Tiana knew spirits were real. She had seen them during her adventure as a frog. I sure hope it's not ghosts, she thought nervously. Just then, something fluttered at the edge of her vision. But when she spun around, nothing was there. Did you see that? See what? Tiana, honey, get your hat and let's go. We have pumpkins to call, apples to bob for, a party to throw. Tiana smiled, shrugging off her nerves. Okay, okay, I'm ready. First, Tiana and Charlotte went to the Halloween fest at the farmer's market to carve pumpkins. But just as Tiana was putting the finishing touches on their pumpkin, she saw something strange out of the corner of her eye. What was that? Charlotte asked, dropping their pumpkin, but it was already gone. You saw it too? I saw something, Charlotte said. She looked a little spooked. Next, the friends went bobbing for apples. But as Tiana came up for air, she saw it again. <laughs> Charlotte shrieked. She saw it too. The little wisp of white was gone as quickly as it had appeared. Tiana and Charlotte stared at each other. I'm pretty sure you're being haunted, sweetie, Charlotte told Tiana. As Tiana and Charlotte walked back to the restaurant, Tiana kept peering over her shoulder. She couldn't shake the feeling that there was something following her, but it always disappeared before she could get a look. Tiana did her best to ignore the flutters as she settled into her restaurant kitchen. She needed to work on the finishing touches for her big Halloween party. The first step was to replace those missing beignets. Tiana was just sprinkling powdered sugar over the fresh beignets when the lights in the kitchen flickered and went out. Crashes and shouts of surprise sounded from every direction as Tiana's staff blundered into each other in the dark. Tiana clutched her basket of beignets tightly, her heartbeat thundering in her ears. Swish! Something brushed her hand. As suddenly as the lights had gone off, they came back on again. Tiana, what on earth? Charlotte cried, running into the kitchen. Is everyone all right? Her staff all nodded shakily. There was no sign of whatever had touched her hand, but several of the beignets were missing. <laughs> Tiana had just about enough. Why is this ghost haunting me? New Orleans is full of people. What's so special about me? Well, you do make the best beignets in all New Orleans. Maybe the ghost is just hungry. There's only one way to find out. She rolled up her sleeves and got to work on the biggest, tastiest batch of beignets she'd ever made. As soon as the beignets were done, Tiana and Charlotte left the treats in a basket at the restaurant kitchen's back door. Then they snuck around the corner to watch. They waited and waited. Just as they were about to give up, there was a movement in the shadows. Tiana and Charlotte clutched each other's hands. Tiana's heart was beating so hard she could feel it in her toes. She'd never been so spooked. The ghost moved into the light. Tiana let out a big sigh of relief and then started laughing. <laughs> The ghost was a bunch of kids. Tiana stepped out of her hiding place, surprising the kids. <gasps> Sorry, Miss Tiana! One of them said nervously. Trick or treat? We were just really, really hungry. Well then, come on! Tiana said, smiling. I've got a big Halloween party going, and you're all invited. Really? The first kid asked, her eyes wide. Sure! Tiana said, after all, a trick this good deserves a treat. Woo! The end. Well, that's our story for this evening, and we had a frightfully good time. Oh, yeah! Woo! Oh, yeah! yeah. Woo! 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 Wait, Brandolin's missing. Hmm? Hmm? Boo! Ah!
Everything looks peachy keen, Mr. Finner. And Mr. Finner? We'll have all the paperwork ready to sign first thing after Mardi Gras. I'll do you one better. Why don't I sign them tonight when I see y'all at the LaBeouf's Masquerade Ball? You drive a hard bargain, Tiana. <laughs> Table for one, please. Oh, Mama. Here's a little something to help you get started. Daddy's gumbo pot. I know. I miss him, too. Well, now, hurry up and open the door. <laughs> just look at it, Mama. Doesn't it just make you want to cry? Yes. The maitre d' is going to be right where you're standing. Oh, and over here, a gourmet kitchen. And, and hanging from the ceiling, a big old crystal chandelier. <laughs> you your daddy's daughter, all right. He used to go on and on about this old sugar mill, too. Baby Cakes, I'm sure this place is gonna be just wonderful. But it's a shame you're working so hard. But how can I let up now when I'm so close? I gotta make sure all Daddy's hard work means something. Tiana, your Daddy may not have gotten the place he always wanted, but he had something better. He had love. And that's all I want for you, sweetheart to meet your Prince Charming and dance off into your happily ever after. <laughs> when I teach people how to dance, I show kindness by putting a smile on their face. My name is Jenna, and I show kindness by teaching people how to dance. Tiana is my favorite Disney princess because I feel like we could relate. When she made gumbo with her dad, the community came, and they were all happy and joyful, and I feel like that's what happens when I dance. Teaching kids that went through the same thing that I have, how to dance, it makes me feel so happy and even emotional at some point. And it's like to know that they're up, dancing, moving around, it just puts a smile on my face. I love just teaching it to her, knowing that it's my mom and I'm teaching my mom how to dance, knowing that she doesn't know how to dance and she never really learned how to dance. And like just have mom and daughter time. She's fun to dance with too. Kindness brings a lot of joy to others. Tiana uses her talents as a cook to show kindness. She brings the community around and spreads joy and happiness. And I use my talent as a dancer to bring kindness to people. And it makes me just sit there and be like, wow, I really just taught somebody how to dance and look how happy they are. I'm really starting them on their journey. Just one kiss. Just one. Unless you beg for more. <laughs> okay, Tiana, you can do this. You can do this. Just look at it. Just look at it. Okay. You don't look that much different, but how'd you get way up there? And how'd I get way down here and all this? <laughs> Easy, princess, princess, do not panic. What did you do to me? I'm green and I'm, and I'm slimy. No, 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 that is not slime. What? You are secreting mucus. <laughs> No, 
Naveen? Now, isn't this a whole lot better than hopping around the bayou for the rest of your life? And all you got to do to make this a reality is hand over that little old talisman of mine. No. This... this is not right. Come on now, darling. Think of everything you've sacrificed. Girl, all you ever do is work. I told y'all she wouldn't come. Think of all those naysayers who doubted you. You ain't never gonna get enough for the damn baby. You woman of your background, you're better off where you're at. And don't forget your poor daddy. Now, that was one hard-working man. Double, sometimes triple shifts. Never letting on how bone tired and beat down he really was. Daddy! Hey, baby Kate. Shame all that hard work didn't amount to much more than a busted up old gumbo pot and a dream that never got off the back porch. But you, you can give your poor daddy everything he ever wanted. <laughs> Come on, Tiana. Almost there. My daddy never did get what he wanted. <laughs> but he had what he needed. He had love. He never lost sight of what was really important. Easy with that. Careful. And neither will I. <laughs> Like I told y'all, kissing a princess breaks the spell. Once you became my wife, that made you... A princess. You just kissed yourself a princess. Kids have big ideas. And if once you show them that they have a voice and they can make a change, they can actually make the change. To all the heroes who fill the world with courage and kindness. Hi, I'm Kyra. And I'm Fallon. And we want kids to have access to diverse books in school. I'm inspired by Tiana because of her hard work and dedication. If you see a character that looks like you or has a similar background as you and has courage and is willing to do something, that's gonna make you wanna do something. In the summer, we found a racist book on our summer reading list. We then took it to our parents and they took it to the school. And then once it finally got taken down, we just stepped back and looked at the situation and we said, we can do something to help other kids that are probably going through the same thing as we are. We took that upon ourselves to make our own reading list that goes from first grade through eighth grade and it's all diverse books. Our goal is to give out over 10,000 books to schools and kids in need and underfunded school libraries across the country by the end of this year. I remember we were on our way to dance and we got this call and it was like, we're gonna start a bill and it's called the Pierce Twins Bill and it's going to ensure diversity in literary curriculums. And we were like, oh my God. I remember we were like falling out. <laughs> we were so excited because this was the next step in our change. We had made a book list, we had made a charity and now we were getting a bill that would ensure diversity in literary curriculum. When we were younger, we were able to look at Tiana and just look up to her. She was our inspiration. We loved her so much. We wanted to be her because I was able to see a character that looked like me and had a similar background as me. And it also helps kids to become more accepting and tolerant of each other because they can learn about different people and different backgrounds apart from their own. I know standing up can be scary, but it will pay off in the end because you don't know. You could be just helping yourself, but you could be helping other people as well. Hi, 
everyone, we're at Disneyland Resort. This is amazing. And we're gonna meet my favorite princess, Tiana. I'm so excited. I have to ask her what it was like to be a frog. Cause it's a frog. Yeah, well, let's go. Well, thank you for asking. Now, what are your names, Shugs? I'm Isabella. And, and I'm Elena. Pleasure to meet y'all. I'm Princess Tiana. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yes. Your dress is just so pretty. Well, thank you kindly. Mama Oda made it for me. It's my wedding dress. My people don't even know that. <laughs> Whoa. Can we ask you some questions? Of course, Sugar. What's your favorite thing to do at the restaurant? Oh, honey, I love to cook and share my recipes with our other chefs so that way they can bring in everyone who can enjoy some good food. What's your favorite food to make? Ooh, my dad is gumbo. My very first time helping him make gumbo, he let me stir the pot and put all the ingredients in. And he said, I'm about to put it in my... I said, wait, because two splashes of basket sauce make it the bee's knees. So once I put that in there, it was delicious. I couldn't wait to share it with the rest of the neighborhood. Hey, everybody, I made gumbo. Ooh, that smells good. I got some hush puppies, Tiana, that brought. What's your favorite thing to me? I like pasta. Oh, it's good. Have you ever tried to make pasta? Mm, once with my mom. Okay, that's good, that's good. Mm -hmm. Probably tacos. Tacos? Now, how do you make your tacos? You get tortilla, spread the guacamole on the flat tortilla. Okay. Put, like, the meat on it, and then close it. That sounds delicious. You can. It is. Do you share it with your folks at home? Yes. Wonderful. How does it feel to be running your own restaurant? Well, sugar, it's a big responsibility, but I think with the love and support of my friends and family, they were able to help me make my dreams come true. What are your dreams? I want to meet a unicorn. Okay. All right. I want to meet all the princesses. All right. And you're succeeding today? At least mm -hmm. you're... Yes, I'm succeeding yes. today. How about you? What's your dream? Actually, my dream is actually to be here with you. Oh, well, mm -hmm. I'm glad we made that dream come true today. Well, listen here. Whatever you want to be when you grow up, with hard work and dedication, you can make all your dreams come true, okay? How'd you get way up there? And how'd I get way down here and all this? <laughs> What was it like being a frog? Have you ever been covered in mucus? No, right? See, when initially, I thought it was slime. But Prince Naveen was very adamant in telling me it's not slime, it's mucus. That is not slime. What? You are secreting mucus. Take your slime itself away from me. I told you, it is not slime. It is mucus. It wasn't my favorite thing to be. But I did meet a lot of friends along the way. Sometimes it's about the journey, not about the destination. You've seen my story, right? Mm -hmm. And you have a favorite part? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part of my story? I liked it when you were little and you were reading the book with your friend. Oh, with Lottie? Yeah. Yeah. Lottie and I are still best friends to this day. And I also really like when you met the alligator. Oh, Louis, mm -hmm. he's still playing his trumpet, sugar. <laughs> So you accomplished so much. How did you get through it when people try to stop you? Well, sweetheart, I had a goal in mind. And once you have that goal and you have that drive, you just stay true to yourself. Because trials and tribulations, I've had my share. But there was nothing that was going to stop me. Because I knew if I just dug a little deeper, I would be almost there. Thank you so much for being here. It was a dream country meeting you. Honey, it was my pleasure. Y'all can hop on by anytime, okay? Yes. How about one big old southern hug before yes. I hop away? Yes. It was an absolute pleasure meeting y'all. Again, remember, stay true to yourself and make your dreams come true, all right? Thank, yes, you. thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Everybody, welcome to the Disney Princess Club. I'm Elena. And I'm Natalia. Hey, Elena, can you guess how long it's been since Zizzy came out with the Princess and the Frog? Five years. No. Eight? Close! Eight. It's been 10 years since Zizzy came out with the Princess and the Frog back in 2009. That's a long time. We I should know. do something to celebrate. Hmm. 
Maybe we could share some interesting facts about Tiana that you guys may not know. Well, Brandolin's whipping up some treats. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Fact <laughs> number one. Did you know that Tiana is one of the oldest Disney princesses? Whoa, how old is she? Both her and Cinderella are 19 years old. Whoa, that's impressive to start a business at 19. A lot of hard work, but for mm -hmm. Tiana, anything is possible. Yeah. Fact, Fact number, number two. two. Did you know Tiana is the only Disney princess to have two wedding dresses? Two dresses? Yes, she had her natural bayou dress, and then she had her royal wedding dress. Did you know that her bio dress was inspired by the natural elements in the Louisiana wetlands? That's so cool. Yeah. I like her lily pad. And ooh, her flowers, the vines, the water lilies too. I love her dress. Her dress is so pretty. Yeah. That made you a princess. I wonder how Brandolin's doing in the kitchen. Me too. Hey, Brandolin, how are you doing out there? Good. What are you making? Yeah, what? It's a surprise. Aww. Fact number three. Did you know that Tiana was the first princess to have a day-to-day -day job? That's so cool. She worked a night shift at Sal's and a day shift at Duke's. Well, working at 19 is pretty hard, but the hard work did pay off. Yeah. This is it. I'm getting my restaurant. Fact number four. Did you notice that Tiana is the only Disney princess that has dimples? Really? I've never actually noticed it. Do I have dimples? No. Let me see if you do. Oh, yeah. Dimples, all right. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> Fact, Fact number, number five. five. Okay, this is my favorite fact. With 11 different outfits, Tiana has the most on-screen costumes out of all the Disney princesses. That's a lot of costumes, especially considering she's a frog most of the movie. Okay, let's try to list them all. She has two costumes, two childhood outfits. Oh, her white fantasy dress. Her white fantasy dress, two waitress uniforms, her bayou wedding dress and her royal wedding dress. Her renovating outfit. Her renovating outfit. Opening night. Opening night. That's it. That's yeah. it. Oh, you think so? Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, what is it? Hey, Brandolin, can we taste anything yet? Not yet. Oh. Fact, fact number six. 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 I really like this fact. So you know how Bob's were a popular hairstyle back in the Roaring Twenties? Yeah. Well, Tiana, she really stood out because she put her hair in a bun. She was very hardworking, ambitious, and she always had her eye on the prize. True. Please, please, please. Seven. Time for a jazz fact. Did you know the reason why jazz got so popular so fast is because the radio and the phonograph let people listen to jazz music across the whole country. You know what that reminds me of? Kind mm -hmm. of like today, how social media helps people from all over the world connect. Yeah. Play it, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, everyone, that's all the fun facts we have about Princess Tiana today. I hope you guys learned something new. I love learning about Disney history. Wait, I feel like we're forgetting something. Brandolyn! Let's go see what she's doing. She's in the kitchen. Whoa, Brandolyn, Brandolyn! This is amazing. You've got muffins, cake, and hot dogs. I'm done. No wonder why it smelled so good. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. See you guys next time. Bye! Bye.